So I want to quickly talk about Rose Nama Nunez, you know, and her performance at UFC 274. First, let's start with the fight, right? Rose Nama Nunez just handed her belt to Carlos Paza. That was that was one of the worst fights I've ever seen in my life. Because Rose and Carlos Paza, the fight wasn't being promoted at all. If you haven't seen the fight, literally, I'll save you 25 minutes. Rose Nama Nunez gets taken down a couple of times, gets right back up, and then. Right at the end of the last round, she secures a takedown against Carla. She thinks she won. She's raising her hands up, you know, thinking that she won the fight at the end, and then they give it to Carla. And she's wondering, oh, why did I lose this fight? This was honestly an embarrassment to the sport of MMA. And it was a terrible fight. Carla's positive excuse for her inactivity in the fight was that, you know, she can't make the fight exciting or she can't really, you know, fight someone who doesn't want to fight. Rose Namajunas is saying that she thought that she do, she should have won based off defense. Since when does defense win you a fight? This fight should have easily been a draw and neither of them should have been awarded a win. We can't forget about what Rose has done so far though know, in her run as a champion. You know, she's been spectacular, you know. She knocked out Yuana Jajacek. She knocked out Wei Li Zhang. Uh, she beat both of them in the rematch and then she lost against Jessica Andrade when she got slammed on on top of her head and she almost died but she came uh, back in the rematch and won. She, Rose Namajunas is clearly the better fighter than Carlos Barza. Maybe she was scared to throw something because she was so... she had PTSD from the first fight where she kept getting taken down. That's very possible you know and in my opinion I think she had probably had a mental breakdown you know. She probably tried to be more defensive in this fight because she was scared of the takedown and that thought process really held her back in this fight because it cost her her belt. You know, it's, it's very disappointing. All I can say is, you know, I'm just disappointed, you know. I don't understand what the fuck Rose Dominion's game plan was. I don't know what the fuck she was doing, bro. You know, I just hope that this fight doesn't affect Rose Namajunas mentally because when you're when you're on top, you're really hard in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's giving you all this like love and all this praise. You're gonna feel extremely happy, right? But then when you have a one bad performance and then everyone starts shitting on you, it's definitely gonna take a toll on your mental state if you're not you know mentally strong. And I just hope that this fight doesn't affect Rose Namajunas. That next time she fights, leave this performance in the past. And and I can't forget to mention how big of a win this was for Carlo Esparza. I mean, she was the first ever UFC strawweight female champion, and for her to you know get her belt back eight years later, you know it took her eight eight years to get back to the top. And although the way she did it, you know, wasn't ideal. I mean, this woman said she was going to get married and then they booed even louder. So I kind of feel bad for her because she did she did what she had to do to win, I guess. Although she didn't do much, but at least, at least she was trying to be more aggressive. That's going to be it for this video. I'm out this hoe.